Hey everyone, Sarah Picaro here. I wanted to just address this. Um, I recently saw someone share that the greatest defense to healing is going no contact. And I want to be an advocate for all of you who can't and see and hear and read things like that. And not only see, hear, and read things like that, but believe things like that. Because if you believe things like that, you will also believe that you will never truly heal. And that is absolutely untrue. So I think that is why I felt called to create this video. Uh, I understand what people say, and there's so much content out there about how important it is to go no contact. But if you're like me, and you're like the millions of other people who cr created another life with the narcissist, you are tied to them in a certain way or a certain length of time, and you can't go no contact. And if you're a loving human being, which you probably are because that's the type of people that narcissists go after, you can't go no contact because it will impact your children in a negative way. So with that conclusion that the best defense to healing is to go no contact, that is a very flawed conclusion. And that just proves exactly what our mind does. Our mind often looks for, connects with, and attaches to conclusions. But those conclusions can do more harm, more hurt, and more damage than good. So that is an absolutely faulty conclusion that the best defense to healing is no contact because you might not be able to go no contact. Therefore, you might believe I might not be able to truly transform and heal from that type of damage, abuse, and neglect that I experienced with that person because I can't go no contact with that person. So that is absolutely untrue. Uh, and I wanted to also highlight some of the words there because words can be used as weapons. And in this case, unknowingly, those words pierce just like a weapon would. So defense to healing, what those words indicate is that healing is a defense and that there's a defense and an offense. That means there are opposing forces. And in this space, that means that they're still playing the game, playing the role or game as defense. And therefore there's an offense. That's what it's like when you're experiencing that type of abuse. So therefore concluding this or believing that it is a conclusion and the only way to heal or the best way to heal, there is no defense in healing. And if you're experiencing that inner push and pull and tug of offense and defense, that is an indication itself that there's more healing that needs to take place, that you haven't gotten to the very core and the very root of the unconscious beliefs that you have about yourself because of the emotional damage that was done. That's a clear sign and indication that there's more healing that needs to be had. So healing is not an offense and defense, and there is no defense to healing from being with a narcissist or emotional abuse and neglect that indicates no contact. You can still completely transform yourself, your life, your heart, your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit from the inside out, even without going no contact. And in fact, in doing so, it makes every relationship, every interaction, every experience, the one that you have with your child, the one that you have when you speak about that person with your child, your thoughts are more clear. You're more focused on the right things, the things that matter. And that is your child's overall health and well being, because you're no longer coming from a defensive stance and state and feeling like there's this offensive <laughs> position coming towards you and attacking you and projecting that onto your child. Because you need to remember that when you can't go no contact because you have a child with the emotional abuser and you still have to have interactions and engagements with them, that impacts your child. They pick up on everything. You may not even say words. It may just be the look of your face or the tone of your voice when you're speaking that's getting projected. Your child is also a part of them. 
in more than just a physical way. So you not being able to go no contact with them and still projecting your inner unhealed emotional wounds onto everyone that you experience significantly impacts your child. And most often that's the reason why someone who's been in in an emotionally abusive or neglectful or narcissistic relationship can't go no contact is because they have a child with them. So I wanted to just share this video, create this video specifically for those of you who can't go no contact and read quotes like that or see things out there like that when you're on this journey to discovering how to truly heal and receiving advice like that. I always say advice is, I mean, take it with a grain of salt because most often it doesn't apply to you. It doesn't apply to who you are, where you're at in life, what you're able to do in life because of external circumstances. And again, there's more damage done when you believe those things about yourself because of things that you see or read uh, like that. So a phrase like the best defense to healing is to go no contact. That can do more harm and more damage than good. And you're on this journey to healing and you may be seeing things like that. The truly best way to heal is to get to the very core and the very root of your inner mind, of your unconscious mind, where those emotional Uh, wounds and blocks are being held in your body, in your heart, in your mind, are being stored, are being projected, how they're impacting this lens that you're now living life through. Are you coming at it from a defensive and offensive standpoint? And if so, that indicates that you're still on the field playing the game. True transformation breakthrough and healing is getting off off the field and not playing that game anymore, but that's what it feels like. It You've had this entire experience of having games played with your mind, of having to take that defensive and offensive stance and maybe not knowing where you stand because of that. Are you still on the field? Are you in the stands now? It, it can feel very chaotic, very confusing, very frustrating, especially when you adopt beliefs like this and you can't put yourself into that role, perhaps because you can't go no contact. So if you're out there living and believing, well, I'll never heal. I'll never transform. I will never truly change because I still have to maintain some sort of contact with this emotional abuser or narcissist. And because of my child, I need to stay in this relationship, whatever it is that your mind is telling you or feeding you or making you believe. And it is that offensive defensive stance. It is causing internal chaos, struggle, confusion, and shame and doubt. And it's causing you to consistently be in that battle. That is an indication sign that there's more emotional work to be done. There's more emotional healing that needs to take place so that you can truly break through, break through and break free from that. Like get out of the stands, get out of the arena and go on and live your life. Even if that means you have to maintain contact in some form, way, or level with that emotional abuser, you can break through, you can transform and heal. And that's what transforming past pain to present power is all about my signature program. That's what the one-to-one work that we do together, utilizing the vast and unlimited power of your unconscious mind to break through those negative and limiting beliefs that you have about yourself now to step in to endless possibility, to joy, to peace, to inner, inner happiness, to trust after having been through that and truly transforming that pain into power in your present life in this present moment so that you're just the person that you're destined to be, determined to be, designed to be. Because going through something like that, going through life with a narcissist or emotional neglect or childhood emotional neglect, whatever it was that led you down that po- down, down that path and down that road, I know this is hard to hear, And it took a while for this truly to sink in for me as well, but that happened for a reason, right? It happened for you, not to you, although it probably feels like it did happen to you because it also did, but it doesn't mean that you're now stuck in this state or will be forever. And that if you can't go no contact, (laughs) throw your hands up and surrender because it is what it is. No, absolutely not. 
that's just an unconscious belief that you have. And it's true transformation is breaking through, breaking down those walls, breaking down those barriers and removing those inner blocks that you have from those beliefs so that you can see through those things like that, not get stuck behind them. Those things like, oh, the, the best defense to healing is going no contact. That may work for one person. And if it does, uh, high five yourself and look at yourself in the mirror every morning and say, you're awesome. You've got this. And then go and continue your life, living your life. But if you're a kind of person who can't go no contact and you adopt that same belief, it's just going to hurt and harm you even further. So with all that said, <laughs> get off my soapbox now. Just wanted to share that with you. And if you are ready for true transformation, healing, and breakthrough, I invite you to come join us in our group, Transforming Past Pain to Present Power. You can find more information about how to join that private program and group in the links in the description below this video. Or if you're ready to just completely expedite that and interested in possibly working one-to-one -to -one together, I'd love for you to reach out and just fill out the form for us to connect. All right, guys, know that if you can't go no contact, it is not the end of the world. You can still heal. You can still transform your life and you can still have the life that you deserve and desire. It, it is yours. You just need a little unconscious reprogramming. All right, guys, bye for now.